everyone and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I will do a very quick demonstration on how to use the incentive spirometer. So this is the incentive spirometer. It's a device or tool that we use in order for our lungs to recover after a surgery. It does prevent lung collapse or what we call atelectasis and as well as pneumonia. And we don't want those lung complications after surgery. And as a nurse, it is my responsibility to educate my patients and to show them how to use the incentive spirometer effectively. The incentive spirometer is made with plastic. This is very light. It has a handle, tubing, and a mouthpiece. You have your numbers, and this is the marker where you set your goals. And your goals are depends if you are a male or female, how old are you, and your height. On this side, you have the indicator. It will go up, and it will tell you if you're doing it best, better, or good. And right here, you have this piston that will go up as well when you're doing the job. So ask your patient to sit upright. This is a good position for the evenness distribution of the air. And if you have pillow, or make sure to provide pillow to protect the incision site, just like that. Ask them to hold the incentive spirometer on eye level, the mouthpiece sealed on your lips, and ask them to exhale. <sighs> hold your breath for maybe um, three to 10 seconds or as long as you can hold your breath. Tell them to not to do it too fast or too slow because those are not effective. They can do this lung exercise um, 10 times every hour while they are awake. And sometimes your patient will complain that they feel lightheadedness, they feel nauseated, dizzy. It's okay to rest and always encourage them as soon as they get better and then do the exercise again. And that's it, you guys. Hopefully you find this video helpful. And if you have comment suggestions or if I miss something, please let me know. Comment down below and I'll get back to you. And see you guys next time for another video. Thank you.